Hey friends, my name is Adebe Durango Adam, and I'm the author of Vox Humana, which is out September 8th with Book Hug Press. Word has it, it's available for pre order right now. Very exciting. It's available through the Book Hug website as well as your local indie bookstore. Thank you so much for your support. My infinite thanks, first and foremost, to Hazel and Jay for making this book happen. And thank you as well to the editorial team, design, production, everyone involved for hearing this book out. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Vox Humana is interested in speech as event, as code, as continuous exchange of language and power. Considers the poem as witness, as call, as response. The poet as composer, genealogist, MC. Vox considers how to configure sound against silence, how to move through silence, which has its own space-time. Considers the difficulty and even the costs of speaking out, the challenge of learning how to really listen, taking inventory as well of the places we feel most heard. The poems in this book can be read in more than one way, heard with more than one voice. Just as a choir has an overlay of voices, a fugue has interweaving parts, the musical analogies come together. You'll see. I came to Vox Humana as a calling circa 2019. In the wake of George Floyd's murder, I came to this book as a response. A portion of this manuscript was written and workshopped during my time as the 2019 to 20 writer in residence, Barbara Smith writer in residence, at literary, uh, 12 Literary Arts in, in Cleveland, Ohio. And the culmination of my residency was an event held at St. John's Episcopal Church, a former stop on the Underground Railroad. And uh, it was in this space <clears throat> that the enslaved hid and waited en route to Canada and uh, where these poems were first performed. Needless to say, these poems have been a long time coming and I'm so thankful for your support of this book and for taking a stand against all forms of silence, silencing. I'll read a sample poem. This is called Vox Cordia Cantus. Dear rhythmic throbs of this quarter lingua, wretched heart, what use do laws and principles have in matters of a heart that thrives and speaks in riveting chords? Over time we learn to tame woe's wilderness, withstand the wretched crossfire if for nothing but to love again. Is it love or woe that makes me thrive on rhythms? without law? Is it useful to withstand being left wretched and hanging on an untamed last chord? How to tame the heart's wilderness when it is a wretch on principle? Can I love this wilderness? Can I thrive on wildfire? Must I adhere to woe? What is left if nothing but to withstand to the end? If we end up loving useless laws or are all laws a wilderness? What use are wretched principles or a wilderness on fire? Even in the wretched key of woe, why love with wildfire again as if to withstand? Can I love without withstanding? Can I love without adhering to nothing? Should I love not withstanding? Even when the fire turns useless, should I adhere on principle to the lingua of my heart in my heart? a wilderness of cords on fire. Thank you very much.